All right, Cora. I found your four keepsakes. Now, will you please explain what's going on here? Oh, this painting and the ring. My goodness. I'm sorry, Dust. You see, these were my husband's. Many long years ago, this was my home. You lived here? Whoa, you must have been loaded. But wait. If you lived here, why wouldn't you move all the way outside of Aurora and into that tiny shack of yours? It makes no sense! When my husband died, the estate fell into disrepair. All the servants abandoned us in a single night. My husband, you see, was not the most pleasant of people to be around. And then, of course, there was the source of his money. What did he do? He was something of a war profiteer. He would give the King's General information about Moonblood sympathizers and receive money in return. Our friends, our family. Nobody was safe from his treachery. Let me guess, that General's name was Gaius. Why, yes! How did you know? Just a pattern I've been noticing is all. So wait. You're saying that demon we've been seeing is... My husband, Cain. His rage has consumed him, and now he is trapped in this place, consuming the souls of wayward travelers to become ever more powerful. With my own life drawing to a close, I knew it was time to put things right. But I fear had you not come along, I would not have been able to find these items and free him. So... What do we do now? We've got your four watchets. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Will these keepsakes quell his anger? They are meant to remind him of all the good things he left behind. Rage will become regret. Wait, strike? Strike? You mean we need to fight that thing? Is there no other way, Ara? Unfortunately, no. The power of those keepsakes will weaken Cain's rage. But we must sever the demon from Cain's spiritual form. Continue attacking him and the connection should break. Then I can cast the demon back into the darkness once more. Prepare yourself, Dust.
Hold, Dust. His state has calmed. The rage that consumed him has been driven back into the darkness. Cora? Cora, is that you? Yes, Kane. Yes, it's me. Is it done? Have you come back to us? Oh, Cora, I have done such terrible things. I betrayed my friends, turned them over to General Gaius for money and power. My life, this mansion, everything I ever owned was bought with the blood of those I loved. It's okay, my love. I know. I know everything. That is why I left you. But I have come to help you set things right once again. I am so sorry, Cora. I should have trusted you. I should have told you. I just... I thought you would abandon me. I thought the one good thing I ever had would leave me to die alone. I'm here now, my love. And I will never leave you again. And you, Robe One, you helped drive that demonic presence away. I owe you a debt of thanks that I fear can never be truly repaid. Actually, you can repay that debt right now. You worked with General Gaius, and I aimed to drive him from these lands. I was told you may know something that could help me find him. Well, that's easy. Simply go where there are moonbloods. Their last remaining encampment is hidden far to the north. If General Gaius knew where it was, he would personally lead the charge to wipe it off the map. Do you know where this hidden camp is? Nobody does except for the Moonbloods and... But no, that's impossible. What? What? There was a village of Moonblood sympathizers in the mountains. I revealed their location to General Gaius. Everyone was supposed to be killed, but before I died, I remember hearing that a survivor had escaped to Aurora. Ginger? You're talking about Ginger? I'm afraid that's all I know. If you can find this ginger, perhaps you will find your moonbloods. From there, you only need wait for the general to find you. Then we'd better hurry, Dust. Ginger's already got a head start on us. But what about the barrier? The work of the demon that imprisoned me, no doubt. With your twin souls, it likely did not want you to leave this valley before it could devour you. Twin souls? What are you talking about? You did not know. You possess a rare gift. Two souls joined as one. Never have I seen it before. Ara, what does he mean? I... Soon, Dust. Very soon, all of this will be explained. Come, we can discuss this later. We must hurry if we are to find Ginger and learn the location of this Moonblood camp. You're right, but we can't just leave Cora here. That's all right, dearie. I've not the strength to return home. And I would rather spend my final hours catching up with my dear husband by my side. I cannot thank you enough, Dust. You've done more for us than I could possibly have asked for. I knew there was something special about you the moment I laid eyes on you. Thanks seem a paltry thing to offer in return for the deeds you have done here today. But they are all I have to give. I do hope you are able to find your friend in time, and that General Gaius is made to pay for his crimes against this world. Then farewell, my friends. Good luck to the two of you, in this life and the next. Dust, reality check. Did we just exorcise a demon from beyond the pale? That we did. Hopefully the two of them finally find some semblance of peace. Anyway, let's get moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Thank you for all of your help. Don't worry about me. I'll stay here, by my husband's side.
see, I just knew standing around here would pay off. That barrier couldn't take it anymore and just shattered. <sighs> Good work, Augustin. I knew I could count on you. Are you heading up the mountain? This is a long way up, but the old road was blocked off ages ago, so you don't have much choice. Don't worry about us. You stay here and guard these rocks. I'll take it as a personal challenge. You and me, Duff, we're gonna save the world. 